This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Netflix. Not too long ago, we showed you the inside. We, we had a question about fireproof drives, right? Oh, yeah. And, and somebody was like, you know, how do I, how does a drive sur survive a fire? And one of the things we showed was uh, I, one of IOSA's bomb-proof enclosures, uh, Synology N2. And what they do is basically they seal a drive, and they wrap it in fire brick, then they wrap that in steel. They set it up so you can chain it down. Because IOSA, if you hold this thought for a second, actually, oh. uh, here, I see paper towels. You're gonna need these. I see more paper towels. Well, we, there's 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 sort of layers of protection, right? There's uh -huh. backing up your stuff in case your hard drive dies. Totally. There's backing up the the stuff you've backed up in case your house dies, or or your neighborhood is flooded, or your house burns to the ground, or there's some other natural disaster. So um, the M2 is really cool. It's a Synology NAS built inside of one of IOSAFE's enclosures. Now, if you hear me struggling, it's because we've been marinating the Synology NAS. <laughs> inside of water. Um, it can stand up, I want to say, up to three days under 10 feet. Uh, it's fireproof for yeah. up to 30 minutes. Say you went away for the holiday weekend and, and just got thrown in the pool. Yeah, well, it's kind of funny. You know, when, when my parents' place got, I, I would suggest putting it on the second story of the house because when my parents' place got flooded uh, at the Jersey Shore and the recent unpleasantness, um, it was a week or two before they could get in there. Right. So, but, you know, the bare minimum is three days and up to 10 feet, and that's pretty good. So what we have here, right, is the idea that your drives are protected. Because the important part isn't this enclosure. Yeah, it's a $618 enclosure, but the important part is what's in the drive itself. Now, I'm going to move this down here. Invaluable data. That's Invaluable what it is. data. And one of the things that, that IOSAFE likes to say is like, look, not everybody can afford to store terabytes in the cloud. Uh, not that's everybody a good point. wants to store terabytes in the cloud. So, you know, storing terabytes in the cloud is expensive. So, what we have here is sort of layers of protection, right? So, we've got the enclosure itself, and I'm going to sort of keep tilting this around and <laughs> banging the water out. Well, you know, there's nothing worse than keeping the drives alive and then destroying them. So, <laughs> you get it all perfectly done, and then oh, a little short right when it pulls out. That would be really embarrassing and, and personally hurtful. So, the idea, right, is that you can store terabytes that you have access to over your local network. Uh, Synology has great software to let you like access it. That it's a dual drive over configuration the internet. too. Yeah, it's a really nice system. And Synology makes a really solid NAS. Um, any, anytime I'm dealing with drive storage, portable devices like that, I always want something that has at least two drives so it can do some sort of redundancy built into the device itself. Redundancy is redundancy. good. Redundancy, yeah. And, and hey, if it's water and fireproof too. I'm all over there. There we go. So this is part of the fire brick. It creates this enclosure, uh, basically. <laughs> that's got to seal. Well, it's funny. It's like somebody's like, well, why would you want, uh, you know, waterproof and fireproof? Well, if your house is on fire, usually the firefighters come oh, yeah. and try to put the fire out with water, right? That's um, gonna happen. So I'm gonna would hope. work really hard here. So the aluminum, the piece of aluminum you saw in the middle there is what helps seal the drive inside of here. Now normally, what, part of what happens here is, is for up to five years, for like a dollar a month, you can get, there's some complimentary drive recovery uh, service that comes with your NAS if you buy it with hard drives from uh, IOSAFE. Now if you don't, or if you want to extend that coverage, that drive recovery service for up to five years, um, you pay roughly a, a buck a terabyte for that service, which is pretty reasonable compared to, say, the cost of storing terabytes online. Now, hopefully, when we see this, there's not going to be this horrible dripping sound uh, as the water drips from around the edge of this. I want to make sure I've, I'm not going to drip water onto the hard drives that are sealed inside of here, because that would really sort of suck. Um, but so this. This is the key that comes with it, and I can still see one drop of water. There's always one last drop of water. And could you, that, there's a box down there. Could you grab yeah. that and pull the case? The whole thing? Yeah, I would say basically sent us an enclosure so we could swap this oh. over. And, this okay, this is the fun part. <laughs> Look at that. Drives are looking pretty healthy for being underwater. So we've got the drives in our new enclosure, which has been running for a whopping seven minutes now after uh, we've recovered our drives, our, our formerly flooded drives that were obviously kept safe because look at that, kids. The photos are still there. And I think if we're really lucky, we'll see a bunch of Le Mans photos inside of here or pictures of the engine of my truck, which is pretty random <laughs> even for me. But the idea is that despite their extended soaking the drives are still working, which is really, really I like cool. That. Or as the system health monitor says, your disk station is working well. 
Then, of course, we mapped it out to the fresh drive. And I'm excited. I like the idea that your data can be protected. And there's layers of protection. Look, drives are protected inside the enclosure. Essentially, the enclosure is, is sacrificed to protect the drives. It's still dripping out water, actually. Um, if you had had a normal hard drive, it would have gotten a really good bath at that point. Heck, yeah. But iOSafe also wants you to recognize that simply putting your files on their, one of their drives is not a backup plan. It is not backup. Three, two, one. Crash plan has a good write-up on it. Three copies on two different media, like a hard drive and a DVD. One copy off-site uh, in the sense that if the space your data is in burns down, do you have a copy of that data somewhere else? That's one. Right, Because if you don't have a copy of your data somewhere else and something happens to stuff in your home or your business, your data is gone. Right? It's really important for the files you can't replace. Uh, for stuff that you can recreate right. or re-download, who cares, really? But, right. but for the stuff that's it's, it's unique and, and, and priceless, if to you at least, that's the stuff you really need to think yeah. about the 321 plan. And you could, you could end up with like you know, one of these enclosures in location A, one of these enclosures in location B. But the idea is that you have your data spread across at least a second location where it is secure, you know, and, and I got to say, Synology does a nice NAS, IOSafe oh. does a nice enclosure, thumbs up for the IOSafe N2, not inexpensive, $618 unloaded, but uh, if you buy it preloaded with drives, you also get their drive, basically their drive or their data recovery insurance for, for service provided by drive savers. It's good stuff. I like it. It's not cheap, but then again, if you lose all of the family photos or the business records, what will that cost you? Emotionally or financially, this is serious business, people. Those are the tragic stories I hate to hear. Yes. And if you haven't backed up today, back up, people. Hey, are you tired of watching the same old shows and programs on TV? Well, with Netflix, you can instantly watch thousands of movies and TV shows, both recent and classic, whenever you want, wherever you want, for one low monthly price. With more than 26 million members, Netflix is the world's leading internet subscription service for enjoying movies and TV programs. You can instantly watch from the comfort of your couch via an Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, Wii, or a Netflix-enabled HTTV or set-top box. Hey, and as a Netflix member, you can get all of this for one low monthly price. There are no late fees or due dates. Plus, as a new member and a Techzilla viewer, you can get a free 30-day trial membership. Head on over to netflix.com slash techzilla and sign up. And please be sure to use that URL so that they know we sent you.